Hello, all signs, and thank you all for so much. For, mm, thank you guys so much for all tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general, may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to book a personal with me, I am currently doing them. However, they will not be sent back to you until Sunday if you send payment today. I just want to let you guys know my day to do all my readings are Sundays, okay? So, all the way from Aries to Pisces, I'm just going to get some quick energy. I am exhausted, you guys. I went out with my friends last night. Everybody wound up fighting. I didn't get in until 5. Had to be at work till nine, at 9 in the morning. So, it's not going to be a lot of energy exhausted here today. All right, so Aries, let's get three cards for you. We have the Ten of Cups, all right. We have finances and career, all right. Somebody broke though. And what the hell are you waiting for? Get shit done. So I feel like this is a situation where you need to focus more on your finances. Maybe you're trying to buy a house or you're trying to fix up a house. You're trying to make a house a home here, but you may not have as much money as you need to do that. Spirit is saying, what the fuck are you waiting for? Get shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, here the fuck it is. It's time for you to put more work into your family or your home. Um, could even be love situation, but I'm viewing this more so for you needing to put more finances into your home. Could be paying bills, could be redecorating, could be getting furniture, whatever it is, okay? Taurus, <clears throat> we have, you don't really know me. Pay attention to the red flags and the reverse and eat your fucking vegetables. All right, so Taurus, first of all, on a health tip, some of you guys are slipping on what you're eating. You may be eating poorly. You need to eat more vegetables. You need to take care and watch what you put in your fucking mouth. I mean that literally and physically. Now, it says you don't really know me. So somebody doesn't, either you don't really know this person or this person really doesn't know you. I feel like this is this person saying you don't really fucking know me. But to pay attention to the red flags and reverse, there's something you're not paying attention to with this person. You need to be very careful okay gemini we have the emperor okay we have make the effort in reverse and you got a feeling you just can't shake gemini some of you are being very stubborn you're in this energy right now i don't give a fuck okay but i feel like you do you may give big fucks but you're trying to hide it see this man is a man but he's dressed up like a female so he's hiding his real intent for a reason i feel like you're not willing to put effort into someone right now but there's still a feeling that you just can't shake it says that voice inside of you listen to that shit i feel like you're going to be drawn back to this person very soon cancer you have i want a future with you Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and you look like a shit show. All right, so first of all, you need to talk to this person. Whoever this person is who really wants to have a future with you, I feel like you know who this person is. You may have been ignoring them or trying to avoid this conversation. Spirit is saying you better talk to this person. You're also looking like a shit show out here. You're looking like a hot fucking mess, and you need to clean yourself up. I feel like some of you have been focused on your finances and not your personal looks. Stop doing that. Do not neglect yourself. Men, get your hair fucking cut. Women, get your hair fucking done. All right? Leo, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, ooh, this could be the fucking one in love, Leo. And so there's a person here, right? I don't know if you know this person. I feel like you, if you don't know this person, I feel like spirit is bringing you into action with this person very soon. This is going to be the one here with the Ten of Pentacles, or this could be the one. They have a great sense of possibilities when it comes to being with you and i feel like you do them as well love is about to happen here it says get you some give you some it will cheer your ass up all right <clears throat> virgo we have the queen of swords wedding put the fucking phone down so there's a situation here i feel like you are about to cut somebody off you may have been in a relationship with this person for a while may have been 10 um what is the the what do they call that shit when you live with somebody so long and the law sees you guys as marriage you may have been with that person that long if not you may just feel like this relationship is like you are married to this person okay so with that being said there's something going on here between you and this person and i feel like it's because you're not paying attention to something here you may need to look through this person's phone. I ain't saying that, but I feel like the answers that you need are in this person's phone and not yours. I don't know why that fucking came up, but it's a fact. All right. Libra. Damn, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Ooh, let go of control issues in reverse and get over yourself. Pull yourself together. All right. Libra. 
my third eye just started killing me. I just got a headache out of the blue. My eye is open. Okay, so Ten of Cups in reverse and let go of control issues. Bro, sis, it didn't work. It's not going to work. You may be still trying to make it work. Spirit is saying you're going to have to pull yourself together. It says help people give back to humanity, do some good shit. So it's time for you to get out of your head about this situation and get out into the world, okay? Very simple. Okay, Scorpio, we have childhood issues. We have the three of wands. Trust in reverse. I pulled the extra card for you guys and some good shit is about to happen. So I feel like somebody that you're dealing with, I really strongly feel like this is you, Scorpio, has some childhood issues. I feel like you're reflecting on that. You're looking back at things that happened to you and you're trying to figure out finally, and I'm saying finally because I don't feel like you've been doing this. Finally, you're going in and introspecting things about yourself that may have fucked up your life in the past. With this trust in reverse, I feel like you have a problem with trusting because of something that may have happened to you as a child. But Spirit is saying some good shit is about to happen to you. Don't let your issues fuck it up. See that? All right, Scorpio. I mean, Sagittarius. It, ha it says, I only trust you. Religious factors in reverse. Judgment. Drop the fucking ego. Somebody here um, only trusts you with their deeper, darker secrets. I feel like this is shit that the motherfucker don't tell nobody, but they tell you. This can be a best friend. This can be, you know, somebody who, you know, you may have not been talking to for a while. This person wants to talk to you. I feel like this person really needs to talk to you about something. This person could be a danger. This person could have did something crazy. Like, I don't want to say murder, but they could have killed somebody. They could have robbed somebody. They could have did something real fucked up to, you know, somebody. And you're the only person that they can trust. But I feel like you have been at a distance from this person or you haven't been talking to this person but this person really needs you spirit is saying drop your fucking ego and answer the phone or talk to this person okay it says vulnerability is hot okay well that's interesting capricorn we have i'm trying to improve codependency in reverse they're trying to stop whatever they've been doing they're trying to fix themselves but it's hard ten of wands spirit is telling you to get some fucking rest this could be you okay um, somebody here is trying their best to change their negative ways, okay? It could be something that you're addicted to. It could be a negative mindset. It could be alcohol. It could be drugs. It could be rock and roll. It could be a fucking person. But you're trying to drop this person. I feel like it's stressing you out. We are in retrograde right now. Spirit is saying, get you some fucking sleep. You are being an ass because you're tired. Face the pillow. Get some rest, you guys. This is heavy. Okay. Next, we have Aquarius. And we have the Six of Cups, the Eight of Cups, Unrequited Love in Reverse, and You Do You. There's a soulmate here, but I feel like you're, you're attempting or you're thinking about walking away. Be careful because these cups is not your energy. It could be the person that you're dealing with that's thinking about walking away. But I feel like it's crazy because they're walking away because they feel like you don't care. And the crazy thing is, I feel like you think they don't care because this person is walking away from you, but they're looking back. But see, the person in the back is looking in the cup like, where's the love? I feel like you both feel like y'all don't give a fuck about each other when y'all do. But somebody is, is about to walk away because of that. But they're going to be stuck when they walk away. It's like they're walking away, but then they sit here and they think about what, you know, could have been better. So with this unrequited love in the reverse and you do you, I feel like it's like whatever you want to do. Yeah, it says stop trying to change people. That shit never works. Whatever you want to do, make sure it's best for you and not this person. Okay. Last but not least, Pisces. We have Ace of Wands in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have Playfulness. And we have Be Fucking Grateful. Pisces, there's a lack of passion here. There's a lack of a, a passionate start here. There's a lack of something getting off the ground. There's a big lack here and some type of um, pursuit 
or something that you really, really, really wanted to do. I say wanted because this is obviously past tense here. With this Eight of Pentacles, I feel like somebody's working to try to get this, this energy back. This person wants you back in the same energy you were before, maybe when you were beat, when you were stuck on them, you know. But I feel like you've been waiting a long time for this person to be this person and want to put this work in. So now you're playing with them, playfulness. You doing what the fuck you want to do. You, you bossing up, all right? Spirit is saying, be fucking grateful. Shit could be a lot worse. You could still be the person that you were in the past when you were, you know, in your Ace of Wands energy and this person may have been playing games with you, all right? So, you guys, I'm going to give everybody one card for the day on what we need to focus on. And it is man holding a heart or a woman holding a heart. There is a significant love that is either coming in or that you're in right now that you need to pay very close attention to, okay? Thank you guys. Bye.